Allah Azza wa Jalla told the Muslims this. When they were questioning, you know, when, when we lost in Uhud, when we had we tremendous we, we experienced tremendous loss in the Battle of Uhud. And Allah Azza wa Jalla noticed that Muslims are even starting to ask, why did this happen to us? Why did we experience it? We have the Messenger of Allah with us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We're the believers that we've sacrificed with Him. How can we experience this? Allah says, وَتِلْكَ لَيَّامُنُ دَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ These are the days we flip up and down between people. وَلِيَعْلَمَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So Allah could know who truly believes. It's easy to believe when you're winning, isn't it? I want to see who really believes when you're what? You're losing. First time I studied this ayah, I used to live in New York. And back then, astaghfirullah, I was a New York Knicks fan. And if you know anything about the New York Knicks, Spike Lee is at every game. Or I don't know if he still is, but he was at every game. He's got this giant, those shahada fingers and he's waving. They could be down by 40 points. He's a believer. They call him a true believer. Right? Whether you're winning or not, he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's got faith. Three seconds left in the game, 40 point points down, and he's waving the shahada finger. You know, because <laughs> that's his faith. Well, you know what? That's why they call him a true believer. The idea being, when we are going through difficult times, that's actually when Allah wants to see whether we believe or not. That's actually when faith is truly, you know, te- not just tested, graded. Think of it as graded. That's what your actual grade is. Are you content with Allah at that time? So he says, I, you know, I just want to know who truly believes. I want to see. I want to see your faith in action. I want to see it put to the test. Another place he says, مَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيَذَرُوا الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَىٰ أَنْتُمْ عَلَيْهِ حَتَّى يَمِيزَ الْخَبِيثَ مِنَ الطَّيِّبِ yeah, Allah will not leave you just comfortable the way you are. He won't. He'll give you a tough time. Until He can distinguish the filthy from the good and pure. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُطْلِعَكُمْ عَلَىٰ الْغَيْبِ uh, but, And Allah will not be telling you what, what's going on behind the scenes. He will not be telling you the real plan. He said that Himself. This is the humility that is profound. So profound that even a messenger had to travel to learn it. And this is a, this is a journey we, you and I have to take in life. To really, truly let go, sometimes of our complaints and of our questionings of Allah's plan, just let yourself float. Let yourself be. And you'll find yourself in peace and Allah Azza wa Jalla will give you contentment in life that otherwise would never have come your way. May Allah Azza wa Jalla make us happy with His decree. May Allah Azza wa Jalla make us of those radiyallahu anhum wa radu anhu. Allah is pleased with them as they are pleased with Allah. As they are pleased with Allah. So may Allah Azza wa Jalla make us pleased with Him, Him pleased with us. May Allah Azza wa Jalla make our difficulties easy for us. And may Allah not make any of our trials a reason for us to lose our faith in Him.